Hello everybody! In this tutorial I'm going to show you Excel model in which you can calculate inventory using FIFO method. Most importantly this model covers many products, multiple SKUs, different goods, whatever you call it. And now comes the best part. This model has no VB in it whatsoever. There is no visual coding embedded in this model. Also there is some bonus in it. I thought once I built FIFO valuation for products used, I anticipated the following question. Is it possible to see what the remaining inventory is made up of, given different purchase price may occur for individual product? So not only does this model calculate product usage using FIFO, but it also automatically splits inventory per each product, differentiating, highlighting items with different purchase prices. First, I'm going to show you how to operate the model, then I will show you formulae that I built. But remember, you can download the file from my website www.costviewer.com. The file is available for download, no strings attached. Last thing, why do I do it? I do it because I know FIFO in Excel is a really hard problem to crack. Also, I thought FIFO for many SKUs was a great intellectual challenge, so I took up this challenge. Thirdly, because I really want to help you guys, I've been through this problem once and I struggled with it in the past. So without further ado, let us begin. So how is the model built? First of all, in this model, all gray shaded cells are meant not to be edited. So only white shaded cells are editable are the ones in which you key in values or other parameters. Everything else is done automatically. If you want to add a new product, then do the following. Highlight row 9 and insert new row. Then type in a new product. Then you need to also copy columns A, H, A, K and paste them in to the right. If you need more rows to enter purchases or consumption, then ideally highlight row 39 and insert additional rows. Following that, copy row 38. Do not copy down row 38 as there are some formulae which refer to this line. Just highlight row 38, highlight destination area and paste in. If you try to copy row 38 this way, an, an error will be produced because there are some arrays formulae in this row and you, they, you cannot paste them in to the same row. So you just Highlight the row, Ctrl C, highlight destination area, Ctrl V, and that will work for you. Also, do not do not amend or delete rows 17 and 18. Because these are technical rows which are needed for FIFO cal calculation computation. There are some columns hidden here as well, but I will cover them in a moment. Also, there is one column which is highlighted in a sort of bluish color. It has here a simple formula. However, I made it special. I highlighted it because it shows the very core of this model. It shows how FIFO was calculated. This column, this value column here is the very source, the whole secret of the FIFO model. OK, so let me show you now formulas uh, in this model. Uh, one more thing uh, before I show you them. Uh, in this in this section Excel for geeks and nerds uh, here I put some comments in the first three columns and in this one so you may find them helpful they I try explain what these um, formulas do and now the moment everybody has been waiting for So here we have all the formulas 
on a plate so if you don't want to download the file or you cannot do it due to some internet restrictions you might have in your company you will need to retype these formulae in your into your spreadsheet unfortunately so this is the, the the very core of this model here possibly this value with validation may not be needed anymore uh, because I introduced some conditional formatting uh, I will show you in a minute but it's hard to say you, you will need to test the model this is the technical row I mentioned to you note that in quantity section the very first row is different than all others down there but this one is different value and unit price are basic ones but that quantity this one is different and here we have yet another array formula all right okay so let me show you quickly how this product works one more time let's say I have a product X copy this down so this X already shows up here of course I have zeros because I have no product here whatsoever at the moment let's say I'm going to add a few lines and let's copy this record and let's say I'm going to buy four batches of product X 12 units each right now each batch has value 122 so the total is 492 that's boring so let's assume the total value of each batch is going down therefore each individual unit price is, price is also going down and now let's say i'm going to use product x 12 no let's say 36 units for the for the moment so if I want to use 36 units that means that the very first three batches will be completely consumed which means 270 we can see value 270 here and that means that the end balance or inventory balance total value will be 70 because the inventory will be just made up of uh, the last batch which is which is here let me zoom it out a little bit so you can see everything uh, but now let's say I'm going to use 35 units so that means that clearly my inventor will be 13 units left and that 13 will be made up of the last batch and one batch from batch number 19 likewise you know if I do 23 or 23 you will see that the remaining stock is automatically calculated and it's split it's split value is split by batches by unit prices here it is aggregated and is reconciled to to this line so i hope you you guys enjoyed this uh be careful with formulas i have to tell you um make sure this this formula in this row is consistent with rows above this is just a tip you know otherwise your model may not work so always you know make sure that you copy you add rows as I have instructed you uh, before how to do it insert rows then highlight the whole row and just copy it down then the model will work thank you for listening to whoever has managed to stay with me so long enjoy the file use it and good luck thanks bye